Hey everybody, today I'm faced with a dilemma. I've made my brand new island, which is right here, which is lovely and amazing, and a couple of things that need to finish, like trim and whatnot, and I found these really cool chairs at an estate sale. And they were, I think they retailed for like tree fitty or something. I, I looked them up later, but literally they were 350 bucks a piece. I got all four of them for 200 bucks. It was a, it was a really good deal. The problem is, is they are just a little too dang tall because uh, these are bar stools and I didn't realize that until I got them home and you know from the pictures in these estate sales sometimes it's, it's hard to tell so we need to shorten these legs I'm going to show you how I would do it and very very simply if you haven't subscribed yet that would be great uh, hit a like thumbs up share all that good jazz but I'm going to show you how to shorten the legs so it will fit underneath the table So, first things first, I've already gone ahead and measured and marked my line, which is right here, six and a quarter, which should give me plenty of room underneath my counter here. And if you had a square leg, this would actually be a lot easier because you could uh, put it in a vise and use a chop saw or something to make a nice square cut. But these are round, and you could weld them. You could cut off a small section and make them shorter. However, it's got these kind of very specific feet, and they're at an angle like this. So to weld them back on properly would be a bit of a problem. Plus this has a very unique color in paint, so kind of ran into that issue there. So I had to come up with a better solution, and it's a round tube to make a, st uh, a very square cut at the same time, uh, not you know kind of making the chair all wonky. So I'm gonna use a pipe cutter, nice big pipe cutter, because I tried one of these little tiny guys, and all it did was scar up the surface and took forever and uh, wore my hand out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my put it on the, the my marked line here. Go ahead and line it up. And since it's square, the two or the, the the tubing is nice and straight. And go ahead and tighten it up. Make a quick cut. And it should come off within, you know, just a couple turns. There we go. Now this tool, I'll put a description, a link in the description below, but this tool comes with uh, its, its own little uh, gouge here. So we can clean that up a little bit. Now, you're probably wondering, this is going to mar up the crap out of my floor. And you would be right. So, how do we fix this? I went to a patio store and found a bunch of these plastic phenolic kind of I don't know whatever they are they're called domed inserts and they're about a dollar a piece and they fit I measured the inside of of the pipe first and they just kind of fit like this these are kind of universal sized kind of tap a tap a tap a tap a and I'll go ahead and do the other three and uh, we'll stand it up and I'll show you what I mean and just like that, we've got four feet that have been shortened and won't scratch up the floor. And most importantly, fits well underneath the new countertop. Thanks everybody, have a good one. 